Well guys, it is here. The NFL season is finally upon us today on my 20th birthday. Kicks off the 2012 NFL season with the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants at MetLife Stadium. I've been looking forward to this day now for a very long time and it's finally here. The 2012 NFL season. And so I wanted to take some time today to preview this matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. And this is something I wanted to do a lot of this year. If you guys want to see it, I can bring a lot of it. Some analysis of the matchups of every week and just preview doing different games and my thoughts, predictions, and that kind of thing. And so don't forget to leave your feedback and a comment, a like on the video if you guys do enjoy this. But I wanted to preview the Giants versus the Cowboys. So obviously... We have the New York Giants, the defending Super Bowl champions from last year against the Dallas Cowboys, a big heated NFC East matchup to begin the season off. And I'm really excited to watch both of these offenses this year because the, the Giants, they added Martellus Bennett from the Dallas Cowboys, who was kind of underachieved in his career, looking to start anew with the New York Giants. And they also added David Wilson during the offseason. They got Ruben Randall but lost Mario Manningham. And I think the, the big thing this season is going to be if Eli Manning can play like the Eli Manning in the playoffs. And he needs to help carry this team to a lot more than nine wins. I do not see nine wins winning this division this year. I think that all teams drastically improved. I think that the Giants maybe didn't improve as much as the other teams in the division, but I think Philly definitely upgraded their front seven. Washington obviously has RG3, and the Cowboys went, and they really upgraded their secondary this year. And that's part of why I'm having Dallas as possibly one of my sleepers this year, because I think they have some very good pieces on offense, and I expect to see their defense kind of come together as a whole, because they obviously have DeMarcus Ware, Anthony Spencer, and they have some good players in that front seven. Now they have some defensive backfield help to really strengthen the defense because for so many years they tried to patch everything up by having guys like Terrence Newman or Orlando Skandrick where they didn't really get any elite talent or any top tier talent to help cover those receivers in the NFC East. I mean, Jeremy Macklin, Deshaun Jackson, Akeem Nix, Victor Cruz. Now you got Pierre Garçon, Sloft, Santana Moss, Josh Morgan. And so that is one of the areas I'm focusing on tonight when I watch the game. I want to see how Dallas's secondary can play against a team that you know was going to air it out. They were the 32nd ranked rush offense last year, and Eli Manning's a good quarterback. They have some very good targets at wide receiver, especially when they stay healthy. That's always been the issue with Akeem Nix. He's never played a full 16-game schedule, but he's here. Questionable today. I expect him to play. I mean, I don't know how he sits on the bench in this game. They also have Victor Cruz, who had over 1,500 yards receiving last year. Definitely broke out. I expect him to play well, but I want to see how well these guys can actually play against Brandon Carr and Morris Claiborne. Can those guys shut down the passing attack of the New York Giants and make them run the ball more, which they did go and address this offseason when draft when they drafted David Wilson. I really want to see how he plays this year because I think he has the potential to take away carries from Ahmad Bradshaw and be more of the featured back in this offense, possibly. We'll see how that goes initially, but I like David Wilson. I like his skill set. I think they're gonna that's gonna help with the rushing attack this year, but still let's be focused on the passing attack in this game, I think, because I really like the front four of New York. Everybody does, of course. They have one of the best front fours in football. JPP, Justin Tuck, OCU New York coming off the bench. And then on Dallas' side, of course, DeMarcus Ware is going to be pressuring the quarterback, Anthony Spencer. But Jay Ratliff is out of this game with an injury, and also Jason Witten is doubtful. I don't think he plays today, and they don't really have a lot of tight ends behind them. They actually had to sign one the other day because of the, the depth issue at tight end. Obviously, no Martellus Bennett anymore this year. And so I think Romo is going to be really more dependent on his receivers, and Des Bryant last year had a great season. I expect him to have a big year this year as long as he stays healthy and stays out of trouble off the field. Because I'll so with they all, both these teams have receivers that you can never count on to be fully healthy. Akeem Nix and Miles Austin. And I think with no Jason Witten in this game, assuming he doesn't play, Des Bryant is my X factor for the Dallas Cowboys. If they're going to win this game, I think Des Bryant has a big game over 100 yards and one or two touchdowns. And I think Romo's going to be looking for him a lot because even Jason Witten had 79 catches last year. And if he doesn't play, that's a major blow to this offense that's always relied heavily on Jason Witten. And possibly with no major tight end threat, Bryant and Austin are going to be the main focuses in this game probably. And then DeMarco Murray, Felix Jones, we'll see how much they get a look. I don't expect the rushing games to really take over this game at all. DeMarco Murray is a good running back. I think that the Giants have a good potential attack or dual threat. But the Cowboys have a pretty good front seven, although no Jate Ratliff tonight. And the Giants, they I have always been suspect about their linebackers, but the Dallas offensive line is simply not that great. And so I can't see DeMarco Murray taking over this game, although I he could be a sleeper in this game to be really 
really be the X factor, but I think it's going to be Des Bryant. And then on the New York side of the ball, I say it comes down to Eli Manning. He has to limit the turnovers, no interceptions in this game. It's a big game, and I think if there isn't really much of a running game going for New York, that they're going to have to air the ball out and have to go deep. And when they do so, Eli Manning can't throw interceptions in those situations. He has to be able to find his receivers, either throw the ball where nobody else can get them besides Victor Cruz and Akeem Nix. He needs to avoid Brandon Carr and Morris Claiborne. Then on the New York side of the ball again, I'll be watching for that front four. I want to see Tuck and Jason Pierre-Paul. I want to see if they can get after Romo, maybe force an interception, maybe a forced fumble and get a short field for an easy touchdown drive. But I think today's game comes down to big plays in the passing game and turnovers. I expect this game to possibly be a shootout. Both teams can stretch the field with their good receivers and both teams have good quarterbacks. So we'll see how tonight's game goes tonight. I am predicting a Giants victory because they are at home. That banner is going to drop. They're going to be all psyched up at the defending Super Bowl champions. And I think that front four could overwhelm Tony Romo tonight and cause some turnovers that can be very game-changing. But I expect a close game, a 34-31 to victory for the New York Giants. So anyways, guys, that is my first preview analysis prediction video for the NFL season this year. If you guys enjoyed it, please do leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you liked about the video. I will definitely be looking forward to reading the feedback on this video and how you guys like these. I want to do a lot more. So if you guys do enjoy them, I'll bring them a lot every week. I do want to put some more out this week, though. So be on the lookout for more of these videos this week. Probably Vikings and Jaguars, 49ers and Packers. Not sure what else I'll do. Probably a video where I predict every matchup briefly in a video, and then I'll recap that next week. But anyways, guys, looking forward to your feedback. Don't forget to leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time.